how to use asana workflow builder hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use the workflow builder of asana so having said that let's just jump into the video so as you can see i'm on their website asana.com and all we have to do now is just simply click on get started now over here once you click on the button it's going to take you over here to the sign up page where you just simply have to enter in your email next just simply click on the sign up button and once you have done that, all you have to do is just verify your email address. Go into your email address and you will find this email from Asana and just simply click on verify email address. Then wait for a couple of seconds for the website to load up and boom, here you go. Now over here, you just have to set up your profile, just answer a bunch of different questions and you are good to go. Then it will tell you to get all the apps and all your screens. So you can go ahead and view these apps or you can skip for now. And once you have done that, this is how it looks like. So over here, as you can see, I've created a pretty nice little, you know, board over here, as you can see. So we have our topics over here. Then we have our scripts. Then we have our voiceovers, videos, reviews, and completed. So you can create something similar. Now, how do you basically create a board? Now, once you have first signed up, you will already have created it. You will already been given a board from Asana, and then you can edit out later. But if you still don't know how to create a board, what you can do is just simply come over here, simply come over here onto home, and over here, you can go ahead and do that. So you have your checklist over here, but you don't have to do that because that's not really a good thing, because that's not really important. What's really important is to create a project, you know, workflow. So over here, you will have your project section over here, and this is basically your, you know, profile where you just simply have to create your workflow so let's go ahead and click on create a new project and over here you can use a template or import a sheet or click on blank project let's start from scratch and click on blank and over here they're going to ask us what is the project name so over here you can go like you know enter in the whole project name like for a client that you work with or whatever let's just say that we are doing you know a cash cow type of channel let's just say cash cow over here and then we can have the privacy to public or private to me. It all depends on you. I'm going to keep it private for now. And then you want to have the, your default view. So you have your list view, which it looks like this over here. Then you have your boards, which looks like this. You have your timeline and calendar. I mainly use boards because boards is much, much more simpler and easy to use and get the hang of it as well. So choose boards and simply click on continue and then over here start adding tasks shared with team members or set up workflow it depends on you so we're going to go ahead and go to project over here and start adding our tasks so over here we have our to-do list we have our in progress we have our completed and then we have the add section over here where we can add different sections so let's go ahead and click on to-do list over here let me just change that over here to to do over here and then we have our in progress so let me just go ahead and add a new section and i'm gonna call it uh review and let's say because we are doing you know uh, a cash cow type of channel then we're gonna need like video ideas over here and then we are gonna have you know scripts over here and then we can move this one over here at the second tab because we're gonna you know create scripts from here and then we're gonna move them over here and we don't actually need the in progress you know or you can change it to video in progress and then you can you know put it over here and you can add another and boom yeah there you go so this is how it basically looks like you know this is how your tasks are going to be so let's go ahead and add a task so to add a task just simply you know click on add task button over here and you can start writing your task so for example we have top 10 richest people on earth and we have this task right here now what we can do is we can click on this task then we can set it up so we can add subtext we can add a description over here in description we can add like a reference video all right project over here we can add a due date right we can add a assignee as well for you know your script writers and over here once it's done you can go ahead and ask a question or post an update over here basically you know you'll be like hey this is wrong what's happening over here why it's taking so long is this delayed is it going to be delivered on time you know you can ask different questions you can ask them over here and once it's done what the person will do is he's gonna you know and once it's done what that person will do is he'll basically you know add like a subtext over here and just uh, you know add in the link of the you know video or you know you can he can add it over here as well and or he can you know add an attachment over here to attach a file over here from dropbox google drive or whatever what you can also do is you can add like different tags as well so over here 
click on add tags and over here he can write like script and just click click on add done and just simply add in the color of his choice and blue boom and once it has a blue mark that means that the script is done and it has been attached and we can move it over here into the script section and you know then another person is going to need to make voiceovers so we're going to add another tab for voiceovers as well and we're going to write over here before right over here after scripts and once that is done the voiceover artist will pick it up and he'll add it over here and once he's done he's going to add the you know tag for he's going to add his tag you know voiceover and he can be like yellow and boom you have your two tags and then we can add it to the video and then we can add it to the review board you know once the video is done and tagged and ready and once it's done and you know reviewed and everything is done we can then put it over here into the final section oh well, that's how you basically do it that's how you you know make this workflow happen and once you have added other people what you can do is you can add like notifications as well which are automatic so you don't have to you know turn them all or whatever you don't have to worry about that you can even customize it as well you can add different rules you can add different apps forms and stuff like that and yeah it's really nice and it's really simple and you can add other fields as well so for example if you wanted to add like a custom field you can do that as well once that's done what you can do is boom there you go and uh, be mindful that usually these types of project management management tools are usually shared with your you know with your client so he can also be you know view all the uh, all the progress and stuff like that and so be mindful of that and like i said you can add in apps as well so for example you can already you know connect your google drive or your gmail account over here or your dropbox account with this one so that anyone can access the drive who is on their team no one has to you know ask for different links you know again and again the since it's already you know connected you don't have to worry about that it's really simple it's really easy and so that is basically it that is how you you know create a you know workflow for your uh so that is basically it that is how you create a workflow on asana.com that's how you use the asana's workflow builder and also before i you know in this video i do want to say that if you don't like this type of workflow what you can do is you can have like over here different views as well as i said before you have timeline you have calendar workflow you have your dashboard as well you have your messages your files are going to be over here so this is going to be your overview of the project and very and much much more and another thing is that when you add a new project you can use a template as well so if you click on use a template it'll take you over to the template store where you can start you know using different templates so over here you have your cross function you have your work request you have your meeting agenda you have your event planner you know meeting agenda stand up you know cross team planning and then you have products over here you have all these different types of you know templates that you can choose from so you don't have to worry about that and once you have you know uh, liked a template just simply click on use a template and just edit it to your liking so that's basically it guys that's how you use the asana's workflow builder and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye